You're going to create a custom design. Uh, your sizes are going to be 600 by 100 pixels, and it's going to create this space for you first. Then you're going to go to Elements and click Grids so that you can have an image set as the background. I'm making one just random for like a nighttime based product, so I'm going to do like a night sky background. I'm going to lock it in place so I can move the other elements that I'm putting on without moving the background. Then I'm going to search for clouds because I want the clouds to be moving. Um, I love this little cloud shape. It looks natural and more realistic to me, even though it is a graphic. And so I'm just going to duplicate it across until I get the type of cloud skyline that I want. I usually do three layers of clouds when I do this graphic so that um, one layer is locked into the background and there's like another layer after that to kind of fill in. And then the third layer that goes on top um, actually is the one that's moving. They're all also kind of at different heights. And so to make those, I place the clouds and I group them and then I duplicate them. So now I got my second layer put together and now I'm grouping them and then I'm going to create my third layer, moving the third layer up. Um, so I can make sure that these are locked into place so I'm not moving them. <clears throat> then I'm going to move the third layer back down. And I'm going to do a custom animation. So I just click animate and then create an animation. And I'll drag it over to where I want it. And then I'll just slowly start dragging it. Now, what I'm doing here is not creating the animation because you have to drag it within the workspace. And so because I didn't, I have to delete the path go back um, and drag it to where I want the animation to start at, then click create animation and drag it within the workspace. You want to drag it slow and steady to create like a more natural cloud moving effect. Try to keep your hand as still as possible. And then I'm going to click movement style and make it go to smooth. And then I'll click uh, done. Now I could just drag it over for uh, to change how far over it'll actually be dragging once the animation is going. So this is what it looks like. You just press the play button and then you can see what your animation looks like as you're creating it so that you don't have to wait to the end to find out. Now, once I'm done with that, I want a cute uh, comment kind of like flying across the background a little bit. So I'm just going to do the same thing, place the comment where I want it to go and then do a create a custom animation and then just slowly drag it down um, to fall off uh, over the clouds out of the out of the graphic like a comment naturally would and then I'm gonna change the movement style to smooth for this one as well once I have my comic uh, my comment and my cloud set up to how I want then I'm gonna add the text or the call to action for the offer. So I'm just doing like a random offer. This isn't for a client. So I'm just doing 20% off nighttime garments. Um, and then I'm putting like a little arrow so that they know like they actually have to click. Um, and then once I do that, then I'll also add an animation to the um, text. So I was trying to decide if I was going to do like a graphic arrow, but it's not always necessary. You could do something simple just like this. So once I have my text where I want it, then I'm going to animate it and drag it across as well. Now, you don't have to do like this type of create custom animation on all of your graphics. Um, Canva does have like different set types of graph, uh, graphic animations, but they may not necessarily move things the way that you want them to move. I also like freehanding it so that I have more control over um, what it looks like once it is done and the direction that the elements are moving in. So once you get done, then you're going to go to share and click download, and you're going to download it as a GIF. Once your um, GIF gets done downloading, then it's going to look like the final GIF that I'm going to show you here in a minute. Now, if you have any questions about this, um, look down in the description box of this video and you'll see where you can access five free masterclasses that I hosted at, that I'm hosting at the end of June. If you're watching this after June 2024, then this masterclass um, has been turned into um, a paid course that covers so many other topics in addition to going into more detail about creating animated banners. Now, if you need help with anything, also feel free to reach out to me anytime on Twitter and I'll be happy to help. So this is what the final graphic looks like. And I think it turned out so cute.